from the director, who still doesn't know how to quit while he's ahead, comes the fifth Tolkien movie in the second installment of the second trilogy that's so bloated by now, even its own characters are getting bored. We go round in circles. We're never going to reach the mountain, are we? We are lost. This is taking too long. The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Rejoin Middle Earth's other, shorter, less interesting fellowship as they continue their slow journey to Scrooge McDuck's vault to retrieve yet another piece of jewelry that corrupts those who seek it. The Arkenstone, it is precious to you beyond measure. My precious. Precious. And bumble from one unimportant set piece to another as they're captured by spiders, captured by elves, captured by men, and captured by orcs. Too bad they couldn't capture any of the magic of the original trilogy, am I right? Uh. Experience a nearly three-hour movie with the plot of one-third of a children's novel that will have audiences everywhere saying, Oh my god, it's still going. Full of things you've already seen, like flashbacks to characters you already know. I should introduce myself. My name is Gandalf. I know who you are. Flashbacks to things you already saw in the first Hobbit. The day that Smaug destroyed Dale. Flashbacks inside of flashbacks. And an attempt at a mysterious origin story for a villain we already know the identity of. The darkness is coming. A shadow that grows in the dark. The enemy has returned. Ugh, we know. It's f***ing Sauron. Get to the dragon already. <sighs> so return to New Zealand's most breathtaking green screen studios again, where tiny sections of the book will be stretched into hours of overly cg filler, super elf murder sprees, The Hobbit, The Ride, The Cartoon, and things that weren't even in the book like Gandalf's side quest, Lake Town Politics. These fish are illegal. Kate from Lost. And a creepy romance between the hot dwarf and Kate from Lost. Aren't you going to search me? I could have anything down my trousers. Gross. So finally witness the conclusion of their endless journey to the slopes of the Lonely Mountain, only to watch them give up after about 10 minutes of banging on a closed door and thrill as they finally confront the talking dragon, Smaug, in a slapstick battle so over the top, it ends with them building a giant dwarf that covers them in gold, which does nothing. Then it ends. What have we done? What indeed, Bilbo, what indeed. Starring Morgan Freeman, Dumbledore, Legoland, Dragon Con, Evangelist Lily, Sauron Jif, Tom Bombadil, Stephen Colbert for some reason, an adventurer until he took an arrow to the knee, random CGI orc villain number two, Bard to death, and the one to blame, The Hobbit, two down, one to go. This is the prequel, right? So how come Legolas looks so much more mature? Is he like an elf Benjamin Button? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Want more awesome Hobbit stuff? Then please check out our pals at Man in Arms to watch them build a real-life version of Sauron's Mace. And then, be sure to see Super Fan Builds, where one Lord of the Rings fan and his two cats get the one kitty litter box to rule them all. Oopsie poopsies, lemon droopsies. If you value your lives, give me potatoes. My butt itches. Doth mother know you weareth her drapes? Would anybody like some pound cake? Press F to pay respects. I gotta wrap it up, they're gonna kick us out of here. At the end of the day, I gotta give it to Hal.